Well, my name is Richard Edmonds. I'm the Earth Science Manager for the Jurassic Coast World Heritage Team. And on this coastline, we, um, we really welcome the efforts of people like Kevin to actually go out and find these fossils because this is an eroding coastline and unless people go out almost every day, the fossils that make this place so famous would simply be washed away by the sea. It's really important that people do just search on the beach because although the fossils are in the cliffs, the cliffs are muddy and dangerous and prone to rock falls, the sea does all the hard work and it washes away the, the fossils and leaves them scattered on the beach for people to find. You don't need a hammer, the best tools for finding fossils are actually a pair of sharp eyes. I mean this enormous skull was found without the use of a hammer at all. It was found with the use of patience and eyes and a rucksack to carry the things back. And so many people like to try their luck at finding fossils, and you can on this coastline, but the best place to go is down to Charmouth or Lyme Regis, where the fossils are literally found on the beaches. And probably the best thing to start with is to go on a guided walk from one of the museums or the centres or fossil shops, because there are experts out there who can show you exactly what to look for. Well, you might find this hard to believe, but on the beach just here, there is a whopping great chunk of fossil bone. It's actually marine reptile bone. I wouldn't be at all surprised if that is a piece of a pliosaur. And it just shows the best fossils are actually found on the beach.